down. Hey, can you come outside real quick? I'm outside Studio A. You did what? Can you come outside real quick? I'm outside Studio A. God. I'm coming. I'm coming. What the hell? She's a cane follow direct. I'm going to peg her with all of these. Why? Because just, I should. I'm gonna, I don't want to hit this car. I'm going to clean, but I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it, uh, I'm going to keep it hidden right here. See it don't work with? See it don't work with? Hit her with these Christmas balls. Left. That was good, man. Left. You guys wanted to peg me? Yeah, I just wanted to see. Hey guys. Two legs untied. Catch. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I can't catch. This is Dakota, everyone. She is my best EA that I've ever had in my entire life. Hello, random. Hi, random. So, we're coming glocking in you. Glocking. G. Pay. Act like you know, don't act like you're slow. You ready? Let's get it. You don't wanna get in the mix, I'm about to stir up some trouble Went from skipping rocks on a puddle to defining my hustle Where niggas was when I was helping selling hats at the swap Physically I'm free but mentally I'm trapped in the box I had this idea to shoot this awesome ad to show this duality between this guy, this, this solo piano player uh, and this girl that was getting ready to go out and I wanted to see kind of those things happening at the same time. So we came in for the shoot. We did all of uh, Tony's uh, parts, him playing this awesome melody that was like uh, melodic and just had s super vibes. Uh, we shot this with uh, awesome Asteras and, uh, and, and, and the Reds just, everything just looks so incredible with him playing there. We used the Hazer a lot on this one to give a, like a smoky bar feel, which I thought was really great. And on the other side, we were shooting with one of his best friends. Her name is Melanie. Josh um, was talking to me one day and just said he wanted to do this like really cool, creative concept for our bar. Um, and he's like, the main girl that's gonna be in it, she's gotta be like a bombshell. She's gotta be this just like gorgeous bombshell girl. So the first person I thought of was um, my one of my best friends, Melanie Tilbrook. We grew up together, went to college together, I've known her forever, and she's just, Stunning, beautiful person inside and out. Um, she's been a model for a really long time. But, um, so I thought she would be great, but we actually called her because she, on top of being a model, she actually owns her own modeling agency. So she kept sending us a bunch of girls and sent us a bunch of options and it just kept coming back. Josh and I kept looking at each other and be like, man, like, Melanie's the one. Like, Melanie's better than like all these girls. The experience doing the shoot was amazing. It was just such a great, Set, such a great crew, everyone was awesome. Um, the lighting was beautiful. We just had a really great time shooting it that afternoon. When we first started making this uh, film, we didn't think that there would be any sound. So we didn't roll any sound. When Mark was editing this, we thought it'd be cool if we actually heard the piano and it was like what he was playing was actually what he was playing. One of the first edits that I ever did uh, with the team here at CNI was the uh, piano shoot. Autumn Lease was the song that Tony Testa played. So I tried to take the, 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 the recording of Autumn Lease and match it to what he was playing. But obviously he was playing at different tempos and at certain parts he was uh, maybe off on certain, uh, certain keys. So, you know, syncing this together was kind of like an edit, edit nightmare. <laughs> so Josh and I sat down, we talked about it, and the solution was bringing Tony back in and having him kind of ADR what he had played the first time. So we did it two times. First we used it on the Yamaha Motif, which is just a, the sexiest keyboard of all time. And he played this uh, melody out, which was great, while watching a screen of him actually playing. So we're lining up his newly recorded edit, playing with his, what we had previously shot. But the motif sounded too new and not as raw and rugged. So we then came back out here and mic'd up the out of tune, old rugged cross piano. So this piano is a piano that, that we got for free. Um, it's not tuned up or anything. And you would think that it's not technically what you want to use for a production like this, but um, it was perfect because that out of tune sound is actually what gave it the feel that, that it had. And if we would have just went with the motif sound, it would have been a little too polished, a little too clean. Um, the out of tune piano gave it that feel that you're really like, I don't know, in a, in a jazz club somewhere or a cigar lounge and 
this piano player is just doing this thing and it just set the vibe. So, um, no, to all sound people out there, keep an out-of-tune piano in your studio. So we actually filmed in two separate locations. Uh, we, we filmed in like a very cool kind of condo apartment type of situation that was very moody um, and that was neat. And then we came actually here to the studios and filmed here at the bar and everything. So it was great to have like the, the mix of both places. Melanie and Tony, I think um, they'd obviously never met each other before, but they, uh, they hit it off and they had you know, an awesome, undeniable chemistry on screen that, you know, I think we were all just watching in awe. Like, you just, you felt like you were, you know, watching a movie being made. It sounded so awesome, looked so beautiful, and Melanie was in it, and Tony, they just were an awesome combo. You can check out the ad on our uh, CNI Studios website on the Uncreative blog section.